Hi, I'm John Bagley, and I'm the chair of the International Fundraising Consultancy. You can find us on groupifc.com. This is the sixth in our series of fundraising fundamentals. And today we're going to talk about doubling your income. Wouldn't it be great if your organisation could do that? How much more could you do for your beneficiaries? But if you are to do that, and if you have that amb ambition, then you're going to need to invest in fundraising by putting your resources into it, both of money and of staffing. Fundraising needs money to generate more money, and it needs staffing, and it needs the right people in the right places. So, if you look at the latest Blackboard survey of charities in 2019, then you can see that the organisations who have increased their income and done that on a scale have planned their strategic growth. These are the organisations report that it hasn't happened just by luck or some magical thinking. It's happened because they've planned to do that, to get a substantial increase in their income. Having the backing of the rest of your organisation is important for it. So as you grow your, as you develop your strategy, then consult, talk to people, make sure that your boss is on board, make sure that the organisation, that the trustees are on board, that other departments are on board and know what is going to happen. Then your strategy, your planning will bear fruit and there won't be the problems that you might have as a trustee decides he doesn't like part of your fundraising certain techniques that maybe his wife uh, is irritated by or that's in some way another department within the organization may not feel comfortable with doubling your income is a big stretch and it's based on getting the fundamentals right so look at all the rest of the vlogs that we've produced because those that's where the fundamentals are it will involve proper marketing practice. You've got to think through why should people give to you? What is your case for support? Who is your target market? How do you reach that market most effectively? And how do you retain those new donors? It's so easy to lose your do new donors once you have them on board at all levels of the organisation. It's easy to lose major donors as well as losing those who have just come on board with small gifts. If you're going to double your income, you're probably going to need to invest in new fundraising techniques. Testing them and then rolling them out is very important. That is a fundamental thing with all fundraising. Test, roll out, test again, roll out again, test again, roll out again. Keep doing that. And that'll help you to keep fresh in the minds of the public that sees your materials but it also means that the inevitable changes and wear and tear that come to any programme or any campaign that you're running will be addressed and that refreshment will make a big difference and make you look like a, a vibrant organisation. If you are to raise money sustainably over the long term, then bringing in several fundraising techniques is quite important. Because if you only have one or two, such as money from America or money from trusts and foundations, either of those can dry up. At some stage, trusts and foundations may decide that they've funded you for two or three years, they're not going to do it in the future, it's now up to you. But if you have five or six fundraising techniques up and running, then you're far more likely to be sustainable. In time, any organisation really increasing its fundraising will have most if not all of the fundamental fundraising techniques in play and they all work for nearly all organizations once you've begun to make a profit it's very tempting to spend that immediately on your program work but you may wish to retain some of that money and roll it into your fundraising to increase and to scale up the fundraising. 
be very clear about that from the beginning in your fundraising plans and projections to make sure the organisation understands that you're going to reinvest in the fundraising. And then when you've doubled your income, then you will have a lot of money that can be spent on the beneficiaries in that year and the next year and the year after. Doubling your income is essentially about investing for the long term so that your beneficiaries can be helped on a scale that you couldn't possibly do if you just increased by a few percentage points each year. So that's the sixth in our series, Double Your Money, and I hope that's been helpful. I'll see you again in the next episode, number seven, shortly. Thank you and goodbye for now.